I was gonna try to see if I could do that kind of looks like an egg. Uh, I was gonna <laughs> try to see if I can do two paintings that could kind of like go together. Okay, so it's a couple days later. I have Sean here, so he's these cups here. I'm gonna be these cups. He's... These hands. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get started on mixing up some paint. The only thing I'm gonna do different from the last time I did this is I'm gonna add a lot less silicone oil. I think I'm gonna try to do one drop of silicone oil in each cup. Like I did um, before, I'm going to do one and a half parts of pouring medium. Here are your popsicle sticks, okay. and we're just going to start mixing them together. Okay, so now that the colors are all mixed up, we're going to add some water. And while Sean's adding the water to his, I'm going to add some silicone oil. Like I said, I'm just going to do one drop. One, one. One, that got two, that also got two. It's still less. Okay, so all of our paints are mixed up. We're gonna get started on pouring and I'm gonna go first. So I'm gonna go on this canvas and I'm gonna start with my black. I'm just gonna kind of like dribble some around the entire edge and then maybe a little bit in the middle. I'm gonna try this different technique. I'm gonna put this like cup thing in here and then I'm gonna pour my different colors into the cup. It looks so cool right now. So then you can kind of like move it around a bit. It's still super bubbly. So maybe it's just the kind of silicone that it is. Yeah. I love it. It's weird to see it change over time because you can't mm -hmm. really see it change second by second. Yeah. So cool. Okay, so again, since I feel like you guys just cannot see the magic that's happening, I'm going to give you guys a close-up shot right now of what this looks like. It is insane. The pink is like my favorite thing to ever exist, ever. So. Okay, so we're done with mine. So now we've switched over to Sean's canvas and he's gonna get started. Yes, so I just cover all of this with the white. Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay. I call it egg with ketchup. Oh my god, look at it go. <laughs> I'm so excited. 
I, I love the colors that you picked. Yeah. Yep. Up here is insanity. It, it is, looks right? amazing. I love it. I think I like yours better than mine. Really? Honestly, yeah. It looks really, really good. So I'm going to give you guys a close up shot of this one because it's just, it's beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so these two canvases I did some like testing on and I hate how they came out. So what we're gonna do, since these are my last two, we're gonna do like one piece over the two canvases together with all of the rest of the paint that we have because I don't wanna waste it. Okay, so here is close-up number 5,000, so you guys can see just how insane this is. I think this is my favorite. I think this is honestly my favorite one like that, that, I've, that I've ever done. Oh, wow. Yeah. I might, I might just end up saying it early, but this is the coolest thing I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new favorite thing that I've ever made. Yeah. I just cannot. Okay, so we're going to let everything dry. 
We will see you guys in a couple of days for when these are fully dry and then we'll just be able to like check them all out. So I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Okay, so I feel like we have a lot to go through so we're just gonna get started. It's a few days later, things are dried for the most part. Um, I'm gonna talk about the ones that we started doing at the beginning of the video. So I think this was one of the first ones I did and the reason that it's so glossy and also dimply <laughs> is because I, I tried to do a resin top coat because I knew that some of you would ask, can you do a resin top coat on this? I felt like I already knew that it was gonna do this because resin or silicone kind of repels resin and like pushes it away. So it kind of does this like dimply effect. I hope you guys can see that in like the glare. But yeah, silicone kind of does that to resin. So I had a feeling it was gonna do this, but I, I wanted to try it anyway, just to make sure that I tried it and showed you guys what it does. Also, I, I feel like sometimes some of the colors when they dry, they don't dry super like as vibrant as they were when you first poured them so I felt like maybe if the resin top coat could work that it would like light it back up and make it really pretty again it does but it also does like the dimply thing but what's weird is that I also tried to top coat this one and it's fine for the most part. I mean the edges is a couple of dimples and then like some of the edges are a little like the resin top coat is kind of coming off in the same way that it was on the other one so it's kind of just on the edges of this one, but for the most part, like the middle part, it looks pretty good. I don't know if I could do like another top coat over this and then it would work. I'm not sure. I also tried to do like a spray paint sealer over one of like the very first ones that I made, which was kind of off camera. You guys didn't see that one. I think I showed it at the beginning of the video, but it also kind of did this thing where the silicone just kind of repels <laughs> the top coat or the spray paint or the resin or whatever. I try to put it on top of it. So if you guys know of any way that I could like seal these in, make them shiny, make the colors more vibrant again, is there a way to like seal one of these paintings if you use silicone? So maybe that's another reason that people don't use silicone. Yeah, so maybe that's why people, is that why? <laughs> is that why some of you don't use silicone in these paintings? I'm learning. There, that's when Sean came in. His, are, are any of us, surprised at all no not at this point he's an artist he needs his own youtube channel yeah, right for sure yeah yep. anyway so this is his so that's what his looks like it's amazing it's ama like the cells that he got are like the big beautiful juicy cells <laughs> <laughs> and uh, i don't know those are the kind of cells that i really love i like the tiny ones too but his on this is just amazing. I, I love the colors too. Do you like it? I do. I really like it. Well, I feel like part of it was luck, in all fairness. Like, I was going for something that looked a bit different. So we were? Yeah, kind of. Put a lot of the red and yellow on the first part, because yeah. I wanted that to be the background, and then have just like pink on top of it. Oh, okay. But I didn't realize how much the, the paint and silicone in the center would really take over the whole thing. Yeah. So that's why there's so much pink in yeah. the final thing. Yeah. Um, so I did kind of screw around with it after you guys saw me do the, like, the original painting for it because the center was just, it it wasn't working for me. It was like kind of plain and it was mostly this color. While I love this color, it was just, nothing was happening in there. But I did, I think I did the same technique that I did that you guys saw where I put a cup in the middle and I poured colors in there and it came out so much better, like so much better. I definitely wanted more black in mine and then this is the section that I kind of like redid. Uh, so I have, I have, <laughs> I have more black in there, which is amazing. I love, I love the colors. Oh my God. I love this one. But for me personally, the one that, the piece that really just takes it is the rainbow. We'll have to hold this up together. So this one is hands down my favorite, like out of all of them. It is magical. I love, <laughs> I love like the 90s, like rainbowy colors that are surrounded by the black and white. It's just amazing. Yeah. Right? It, it's very um, graffiti-ish. That's what it reminds Ooh, me of. Oh yeah. Like street art. Okay, so here are some close-up shots so you guys can see all the fine details of these paintings.
So you guys will have to let me know which one is your favorite. Is it Sean's because his is magical? Is it mine? Is it one of the two that we did originally? Or is it the 90s magicalness? Let me know uh, because mine is the 90s magicalness. Oh my God, what's your favorite? What's my favorite? Favorite. It's hard to say. Uh, I do really like mine and yours here, but mm. just because of so many colors, I think it's this one. I really? love the blue there. Who's yeah. favorite? I don't know why. I really like combinations of blue and yellow. I don't know if they just yeah, feel like earthy to me, but mm -hmm. I really like that. If you guys try this, please tag me on Instagram because I really, really love seeing you guys try this stuff that I try in my videos. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. It is at artsymadwoman. I'll put it right over his face. I love you guys. To absolute death. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, I just got paint in my hair, didn't I? Or was it there before? I don't know. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> it's amazing. A good idea with the art channel where I start my own and just do everything you do a week later. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> yes! Right? <laughs> what? I don't know. Just giving you a chance to edit. If you can put the little thing in here and make it go bigger. Yeah. Put the little screen. The close-ups. Please start talking. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> Thank you, we're just talking I'll about. I'll explain later. Later? Yeah, when you're editing. With the editor? I with am the, the editor. With the editing. <laughs> okay. I get my tissue and my phone. Nice. And my lipstick. Wow. Great. <laughs> if you guys, um, bleh, what, what was I trying to say? <laughs> if you guys, bleh. Have <laughs> you ever seen a mouse or rat? No. No, there's not one here. The oh. reason I ask is this. I don't know if it's weird at all that it goes. Oh, no. You don't think if, it's that? If a mouse had walked on that, they would have got stuck. They would still be on it? Yeah. <laughs> and that would be horrific and devastating. Yeah. Very sad. Yeah. Why do I have this problem? It's okay. Do you have anything else funny to say? What are your final words? Share some what wisdom is? with us. Wow. Those are your I final words. Wisdom. I'm trying to think of them. Right. All right. Well, you have like two seconds. <laughs>